off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends Um, today I meant to do this earlier today Before it got super hot Because my room is gonna This is gonna be a hot one but <laughs> I want to go shopping for new shirts for myself for the fall for my new size. Remember how I did the photos or the video before of the shirts as they fit before my surgery? I want to put them back on just a few of those and just kind of compare. Maybe just more for myself for the future. Just a comparison. I didn't wear this shirt in the previous video. But let me put on a few of those shirts. Um, if you are new to this video, new to my channel, I had a breast reduction and lift um, almost exactly four weeks ago, four weeks and two days ago, I had that surgery and I feel like I'm recovering very well. Um, quick update about that. I don't feel really any pain. I feel little tugs um, on the incisions every once in a while. I do have one incision open right here. I am still laying upright in bed. I'm a little behind the scenes. Tried to make the bed this morning, but all the pillows. Um, I did kind of lay in bed pretty low last night, pretty like even on my back last night. And when I woke up, my neck was stiff and uh, my chest hurt before I even sat up. So I think I was a little too low, <laughs> but it's going well. I don't, I'm not, I'm sleeping better laying on my back now that I can kind of scoot down a little bit lower, kind of get more tilted to the side and lean on a pillow to the side. So I am recovering pretty well. Um, so I thought I would just own this body of mine. Um, I don't pretend like I don't have a stomach. It is there. I am going to work on that as soon as I start walking. And honestly, if it was not 100 degrees outside, let's, check, let's see what it is. And I could get on the treadmill. I could get on the treadmill and walk yeah it says it's 85 outside feels like 91 but i guarantee you within a half hour it's going to be 100 and it has been all week long this first week i felt good enough to go for a walk too hot outside and i can't hog the ac for my office where my treadmill is because that wouldn't be fair to all of my kids in the rest of the house so we're just getting through the heat this week Hopefully this weekend I, or next week I can start walking outside and start working on uh, my stomach and getting exercise again. And then I also will wait, have to wait until I get the approval for more exerted energy um, to be put into exercise. Actual like I want to start lifting weights and start doing some wall Pilates type stuff to work on my stomach in particular. It's my next goal. So. I'm not ignorant to the fact that I'm still overweight. I understand. Let's go try on a few shirts. I honestly can't remember if I tried this one on. Um, it's very similar to the other black one I'm going to try on next. But, you know, one would say, yeah, it fits. But there is a lot of extra material. And it's very, very long. It goes way down low. I could tuck it in. But then there's just lots of extra baggy material. So what I'm also going to do is declutter all the large stuff. I'm going to take it out of my closet, um, donate it on my way to go to Marshall's. <laughs> okay, this one is similar to the blue one. It's hard because like I really like this shirt and it still, again, technically fits. It just, do I need to be wearing something that is too large. Let's see what type. I don't even know what size it is. Hang on. Okay, so this shirt is technically an extra large, which is surprising. These are from Walmart. This one is an extra large. See, that? this one felt like it was way bigger than this one, and this one, they're both the same size. And technically, in other stores, I'm starting to size into extra large. These feel way large. So, then we also have, look at how, look, this one's just you can just see it. It's just totally draping on me. Again, it's just hard because like my normal would be like, oh, it fits. I'll get it, you know. 
but like even that it's like it's never like draped like that before out uh, with the old I don't need to feel like I'm wearing the clothes from when I was larger all right now if you remember this shirt you could oh my gosh there is a huge difference I know I still have large chest because I just I do but like I'm also not wearing the right bra but like it used to be so much bigger and it used to stretch and you could see like the stretch in like the polka dots and now it's not so this one I am keeping because this one actually fits the way it should fit now and it'll fit better when I have the right bra right now I'm in compression bras but they're actually not compressing very much and my doctor doesn't want them to compress very much more than they currently are you can even see that this one is still swollen <laughs> There's a little bit of size difference. Um, you can see that like I can actually bring them up higher in a better bra. And they're more spatially spread out in this bra on purpose. So when I have the right bra, this is gonna fit even better. But it like, from the side, I haven't ever had that kind of a side profile, which is kind of fun. This is another one that I really liked, but I wanted to fit better into it, and I do. I just, I do, it feels so much more comfortable in it. It'll feel better when the bra is correct. <laughs> They're still swelling. Now, ironically, on the one that's actually recovered the most. So, I like that one. I'm gonna keep that one. That'll look nice in the fall. Okay, I didn't try this one on for you before, but I wanted to show you something. I'm kind of going through my shirt, and this is what is starting to happen when I put them on. It like, it suddenly has so much extra material <laughs> right here. The shirt still fits, still feels fine. Getting really hot, but it, it, it's hanging on me. So I'm gonna go and let someone else enjoy it. Cause I'm gonna constantly wanna like tuck it, pull it, get it tighter and I, bye. Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna try on cause I'm getting too hot. Um, again, this just fits now as it should have fit. Not stretched out. Um, I do like these shirts. These are from Costco and they have like the little built-in cinch waist line and I like that because I don't like the extra material being all saggy at the bottom but it also kind of gives some tummy coverage but this one fits look I mean you can see that there's material that used to like be pulled tight and now it like is not which is fine I have this one and then I have this one in green as well but let's go in the closet and I'm going to show you how much we've cleared out all right horrible lighting in closets but this is how much I've gotten taken out i'm just i'm donating all of it it's all too large or it's just old t-shirts like this one and this one and it's just time to go these are all new shirts that i've gotten over the past couple weeks um, of the summer since my surgery um uh, they're all extra larges or larges i think i'm definitely a large from old navy this one fit a little bit large um that one is just more tight fitting so i got the extra large um and then i got that one at the gap um for fall this one I got at Costco because it was like four dollars and that even looks a little bit big the size is that one it's large I haven't ever been a large at Costco just an FYI I've never been a large at Costco then this next little chunk of the closet probably like there's one right here these are all sweatshirts and then I've got a few more sweatshirts here and then over here I'm not gonna go through those right now because it's too bloody hot <laughs> and then I've got all of my tank tops which still technically fit I got this one at Walmart the other day as like a nice under layer to kind of kind of suck me in without being too compression-y. These are all just white t-shirts, tank tops, and that kind of thing. I actually have some of these tighter um, shirts to go underneath clothes, and I just got some jumpers, or I'm going to get some jumpers, and I think they'll look cute underneath jumpers, like those like popular ones online. Um, and then I just have a few shirts. I don't know, maybe I, I'm gonna get rid of that one. That one is actually, now it's gonna be huge. I didn't try that one on, but. You can see that I've depleted my supply of shirts drastically now, but I'm not going to try on all the long sleeve shirts. They're just going to fit better um, in the fall. And oh, that was my last one that I got in Maui. Um, some of these I might just give to Abby because she loves my larger sweatshirts in general. You know what? That one's going to go too. So is this one. I like that one. I'm just just going through and I it's like a cleanse it's like I did this hard work and I want to I can't get rid of the hangers who's calling me oh no okay uh, crisis averted anyway so these oh that was my other Maui shirt oh, it's so sad I don't know if I should get yeah I should get rid of that one that one's huge 
on me. It will be huge on me. It was fine before when I was larger. And I need to stop doing this because I am doing some lifting up of my arms that I shouldn't be doing. That one will just fit better. And I can't get rid of my like Hawaii sweatshirt. So I have this one and then I have that one of Maui. This one of Maui. I just like my good vibes one. That one's fun for the fall. This one is gonna fit really good, but it's just really thick. It's like sweatshirt material, even though it's short sleeve. I'm not trying that one on. And um, this sweater, my good vibes sweaters are really fun. That one, even though it's an extra large, I'm gonna see what that one does in the fall. And then, like I said, I, I'm oh, sorting my, this is kind of the stuff that's new. And then I'm putting this other stuff where it belongs. Cause in case you're new to my closet and me, <laughs> I am a color coordinated type of clothing coordinated kind of person. So while I let these new clothes marinate over here before I wear them, um, the rest of the closet is, and actually that green hanger is going to drive me crazy. So I will switch that, but that is good for now. And I'm not trying on jeans for now. Um, I think I actually only have two pairs of jeans um, and the rest are like leggings and stuff for winter, winter, winter days. And then dresses is a different story. Kind of feels good to getting rid of all this stuff and ignore my little mini hospital over here. <laughs> my incision, incision still has to be changed twice a day. So we go through a lot of gauze and a lot of tape. I just came in to say hi to Kaylee. She's um, right home from her little trip with her friends and she's got this little gift for her other friend who is turning 18. Actually she turned 18 yesterday and has a party tomorrow night, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kaylee, Kaylee's like, I don't know what to wear. And I'm like, you've never worried about what you've worn to an event? She's like, it's 80s theme. My alma mater. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I was only one, two, over two to 12 I in the 80s. Pink so, pink so pink yeah, pink I mean, you could go like the whole like Jane Fonda yeah. workout, but that might be kind of hot. It'll, it'll be cooler. I just don't know what else It'll be is. like coming down from 79 in their barn. I'm pretty sure they're doing it in their barn. This is our friend that we have game night. It's their daughter that's having a birthday. But I'm gonna go over to their house tomorrow morning to help them set up their balloon arch. <laughs> she, The mom called me yesterday and she was like, okay, now when you do your balloon arches, do you get helium in them? Or how do you put the, all the air in them? And I was like, compressor, air compressor. Okay, and then like when you're tying them all up, like how do you bunch them in order to like bundle them and put I'm like okay you put two together and you tie those in a knot and then you take two bundles of two and you twist those together and she's like sounds like you have plans Friday morning <laughs> so I'm gonna go and help her with that she's gonna do all the heavy stuff and I'm just gonna twist and knot balloons and then obviously well her husband my dear friend Kevin <laughs> he was like does she want to get on the ladder and use her little t-rex hands <laughs> To put the balloon arch up. Oh, He's so mean. Oh my gosh, he can. can wear his uh, vector. Don't yeah, Jacob can go show. his um, vector costume from Halloween. Um, yeah. Anyway, so funny story about Halloween costumes. The little girl that we went and visited yesterday, Ashley's friend. That, oh, I haven't told you. Natalie broke um, both of her feet. Anyway, so we went I went over there to give her her little treat, and we picked her up a uh, slushy at the gas station and she was in a wheelchair when she answered the door and stuff and so we got talking about like what costume costumes could she do with a wheelchair because she has two other friends that they want to like coordinate their costumes with and i was like um barbie themed of course like everyone's gonna do barbie themes <laughs> and you can do any barbie which is makes it so much better and she was like i'm handicapped barbie <laughs> she won't be in the wheelchair then but the house that they are in now like they own the house but like it came with a wheelchair for whatever reason and no one's ever used it until now. And she's like, so it's our wheelchair. I might as well be. And she could even like retape on her cast and like go around as wheelchair Barbie and wear a little pink dress. <laughs> Thought that'd be fun. All right, I will leave you to your um, outfit of choice and cleaning up. And if you, I'm pretty sure you should have dirty laundry. Okay, can you, if you can take down white towels and put them in and start it, that would be really helpful, okay? All right, I just got to Marshall. I'm kind of hiding behind my car right now. Um, so Kaylee just called me and she has offered to take Ashley and her two friends and Chelsea to go to Target and maybe get a drink and a bite for lunch. And it's very nice of her. Um, but went to get into her car and it's dead. And it's insane because I just drove it two days ago. 
I moved it. I got that car opened up so that it wasn't so hot because it's been so hot here. Made sure that the battery wasn't dead and it drove fine. It turned on, everything was fine. So she's gonna go get, Abby is at an orthodontist appointment with my pilot. Um, and so she's gonna, Kaylee's gonna go get her friend, Evelyn, to come over and help her jumpstart the car. And then she'll take them about out and about. And then I can go and help her at Target if she gets stuck at Target, I guess. I don't know how I'm gonna do that if I have a Tesla. But anyway, I don't know what's wrong with that battery. Um, it's not keeping its charge. Or if it's, I don't know, like, I'm gonna have Jason tonight take it back to whatever it was called. What is that car place called? I forget what it is. Um, because it shouldn't die. It's, it, like, it shouldn't die, so. Right, just got home. Did you guys get it? My car still won't turn off, so do I just leave this car running until it... It won't even... Here, let me double check everything. It, it's on. These are it, on. It sparks a little bit. It does? Yeah. Okay, go try and turn it on. All right. And it's officially dead. So we're gonna deal with the battery tonight when dad gets home. It's too hot out here for us to like test the battery and whatnot. Why don't you come in for a second and get cooled off and get a drink and then you can go in my car, this car, except you need to move it. I'm just gonna go. There's no point. You're gonna go? Okay. All right. It has been quite the day, but nothing worth like documenting <laughs> in the moment. So try to start Kaylee's car um, battery probably is dead, but we're gonna take it again and have them test it. They'll recharge it and see if it'll hold the charge. Um, hopefully Jason can do that tonight before they close or first thing in the morning, but it didn't work. So then we had to adjust and Kaylee took Abby's car, my old pilot, and went about their business and I told her to meet me at Abby's work at a certain time when I dropped Ashley off for cheer and she didn't meet me there. She forgot. She's still at her friend's house on the other side of town. <laughs> so I just came home and ate Oreos. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm so done with this day. I've been in the car since 12 o'clock and it had been, it was like 5.30 at that point. Um, I need to put my seatbelt on and Jason's coming. So I got home and then all day today, I've been talking to two of my sisters, planning this baby shower for my one sister and talking to my other sister um, about, she's a teacher, and she's been getting ready for back to school and all that kind of stuff, and can she had to make a, and, I can. And I have to have TX arms. Can you just put your shoes on and leave me alone? <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put it down as soon as I get out of the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, someone's seatbelt isn't on. No, I'm placing up my shoe. <laughs> Anyway, I've been helping her with iMovie. She has to create this little intro video that the school is going to put on their website. And everything she was doing in iMovie wasn't working because she has a new Mac. And finally got it to work after a couple hours. And then I was on the phone earlier, multiple times, because my other little sister just took the nurse practitioner's um, cert certification test. And she passed. I'm so stinking proud of her. She has worked so hard. This is my sister who has five children. She got divorced two, three years ago. I forget when she got divorced. And then got remarried a year ago. And he has two children and they live in two different states. They don't live together. <laughs> so every other week they do. And, I, and she got her nurse practitioner's license today so that she can have a job in two different states. And I'm so very proud of her. And so I was on the phone with her multiple times. She's like, I don't know what to do with free time. What do I, I don't have a test to study for, or classes to take, or even a job to do today. I'm like, what do people, and I don't have my kids this week. She's like, what do people do during the day? And I was like, go home and watch a movie and eat Oreos. She's like, I think I will. I think I will. So I've been on the phone with her all day. So we are finally to seven o'clock at night and we are going to Ashley, pick up Ashley from cheer, but she's also performing her first little routine that they have learned for halftime. 
and it is set to the Barbie song <laughs> from the Barbie movie um, and it's so good so if I'm able to really film her dancing and this whole routine um, I will probably get on and tell you to start the actual Barbie song at a certain time frame um, so that you can actually follow along yourself turn on that Barbie song so you can hear it and see the dance for yourself because I can't use the actual music I'll have to find another song um, for, for me to use with the video but if you want to see it with the actual Barbie movie song um, I will put that information on the screen for you to listen to um, but all of us are gonna go and watch her Kaylee is going um, to watch with Chelsea and because her friend's little sister is also on this cheer squad this year. So it's a big group effort to go and see. Okay, it's so it's not okay. stupid. Okay. So dad had an idea when he was watching it. There's one dad, we call him the cheer dad because he's just so enthusiastic. No, because with the, only, the one, like every time he was there uh, last year, we were doing Let's Get Fired Up. And so he just memorized it. And so whenever we do yeah. it. And he does it. He does it. Cheer. He gets so full we, into people it. People name it. People like say uh, it's his cheer. People yeah. are like the cheer dad cheer. The cheer dad cheer. I yeah, like it. people do it. Actually, I'm gonna sneak and go this way. I wanna what? go here. Um, anyway, so <laughs> they were doing that one and then they did the performance and like their halftime performance or whatever that they learned. And Jason, what did you say? I said, I can learn that. <laughs> so, dad wants to learn the actual routine. <laughs> when I was your age, I took dance. I, I, I did dance. In the 1900s? Dance. Shh. <laughs> That's what the coach was like. Back in the 1900s. Where are we going? So, um. We are in Yeah. So, 
he wants to learn the dance and I'm gonna get him a t-shirt that no. says Kanaf and he's gonna wear it to the one game he probably can come to and, and do it and wear his Kanaf um, sweatshirt. So. What is the Kanaf? Ken, Ken, Ken is, enough. is enough. We're all enough. Okay, we're back at home, closing out our night. And this is how we do some, most of our back to school shopping now from Chelsea up, is dad brings home shoes from the store. <laughs> um, it's very convenient, because he brought shoes home yesterday and they weren't the right size. So and now he brought another size and another pair to try. Makes it very easy for back to school shoe shopping. And Kaylee said, what did you just tell me? I need shoes because I'm not getting anything else. Right here. No, like... Yeah, she's like, I don't have back to school supplies, so can I at least get a pair of shoes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pre pretty sure we can probably make that happen. But you want, like, Nikes or something, right? Yeah. Or do you want, like... I'm so mad. The ones that I wanted were sold out completely. At work? Yes, and it bothered the crap. I looked... Are they going to restock them or no? I don't know. I don't know what our next shipment is. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you need to unload, correct? Okay. Okay, we're not going to show Chelsea because she doesn't have a bra on and she's making fun of my T-Rex arms. Yeah, it's funny. What do you think of these shoes? It's nice. I like this one better. You like that one better? Does like it feel better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Don't make fun of my arms anymore. I will gain to. access to them eventually. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. I'm not going to make fun of them. Okay, but... Um, walk around for just a little bit. Um, do the counters one more time. I know, but this counter will need to be done as soon as Abby loads. She's not going to do it tonight. No, she has to do it tonight because I want them loaded after Kaylee unloads. Alright, we're going to close out our night here. Actually, if you like those blue ones, put both of them on your feet because no two feet are the same. Um, Kaylee's wrapping up her little gift. Her friend is really into vintage stuff and makes her own vintage outfits and clothing and she likes to go vintage shopping and so she got this little postcard from 1955 oh, and I then cute little brooch yeah. um, two of them actually and then this cute little we saw this earlier <laughs> she loves little things like this she's a very fun unique little gal who just turned 18 so it's kind of fun her new dog is so cute. We're excited to have game night Saturday night and well, really get to play with her. He just jumps all over you. And yeah. Just plays. Cause like she's true really German talking. Shepherd and true puppy. Cause like Kaylee yeah. just like she walked in the house and like sat down and started playing, and she like tapped him on the butt or something or like on his paws and just started like war with him. And it oh was yeah. So funny. He's like, true puppy. It's fun. He kept going after her. Yeah. All right, we're gonna sign off. I've got my new shirts. I'm gonna go upstairs and hang them up. And as soon as it's not super hot, I'll start wearing them. <laughs> but yeah, put that one no, no, uh, in here. Chelsea Marie, <laughs> every time I have the camera on, it's her mission. Okay, it she's gonna wear her shoes around the house. That is our general rule. We tell everyone, wear them around your house and make sure that they're comfortable. <laughs> All right, take care you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Easy. Oh